All right, welcome to the last video for unit number one. So this lesson was called putting it all together. So we wanna be able to put everything together to be able to see that everything that we've done kind of all fits together. Factoring, dividing, and also all the stuff we did with the functions. So number one says explain why x plus five is a factor of p. The reason why is if p of negative five equals zero. And if the remainder is zero, then x plus five is a factor. Knowing x plus five is a factor, let's factor p completely. So to do that, we're gonna divide. I'm sure at this point you're all gonna use synthetic division. So that's just how I'll do it as well. 2, 11, negative 3, negative 44, and negative 20. So the 2 comes down. That's negative 10, which makes 1. Negative 5, negative 8, 40, negative 4, positive 20, remainder of 0. Awesome. That means that we are on our way to factoring this. So I know that P of X is X plus 5 times... 2x cubed plus x squared minus 8x minus 4. Now since I don't know any other factors, I, don't, I can't divide this, but I can factor it by grouping. So if I do x squared, I'm left with 2x plus 1. If I do negative 4, I'm left with 2x plus 1. So now I know that p of x is equal to x plus 5 times... 2x plus 1 times x squared minus 4, which we also know is factored completely. So we have p of x equals x plus 5, 2x plus 1, x plus 2, and x minus 2. So once I know all the factors, I can state our solutions. So I know that our solutions are going to be negative 5, negative 2, negative 1 half, and positive 2, all of which have a multiplicity of 1. Since they all have a multiplicity of 1, I know this is going to be a degree 4 polynomial. Also, I knew that from the beginning because the highest exponent was 4. So everything we did here matches. So if I have a degree 4 polynomial with a leading coefficient of a positive number, I know the end behavior. So I know the end behavior is going to both go to infinity. So both as the values get smaller and larger, we're going to infinity. If I sketch the graph of this function, first thing I'll do is put in my x-intercepts. I know my graph is going to end up here and start up here. And at each intercept, it's going to pass through. So it's going to come down and pass through, pass through, pass through, pass through. Everything works out well. Also, if you're really good, you know that this is the y-intercept. So then we could go through and make this point down here negative 20. Don't forget to label your x and y-axis and your graph P of X. And that's it. That is unit number one. Congratulations, you're down one. You got a bunch left. All right, hopefully this video helps and start studying for your test next week. Remember your test is on Tuesday for Accelerated. Good luck.